It's been a whirlwind week, hasn't it? It has. It sure has. A lot of witnesses, a lot of testimony. We're going to break it all down with this story. Take a look. This week, the release of secret testimony from top government officials provide a glimpse into the case that is building against President Donald Trump. Witnesses testified about a shadow foreign policy led by President Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, to withhold critical military aid from the Ukrainian government while demanding that Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky publicly announce his government was investigating the Ukrainian company which employed Hunter Biden and a conspiracy theory about Ukrainian involvement in the 2016 presidential election. All of the witnesses agree that the president engineered a shakedown of the Ukrainian government. I think that the information that we've had so far from the closed door sessions shows a consistent portrait. Tonight, Loyola Law School professor Jessica Levinson, an expert in election law, says the testimony released so far has been compelling. It shows a consistent portrait of a president who wanted something from the Ukraine that I think was frankly something that was personal and or political, not something that was for the benefit of the American people. Republican supporters, including Lindsey Graham, say the testimony was not convincing. So no, I find the whole process to be a sham and I'm not gonna legitimize it. The money held up had absolutely nothing to do with Biden. Acting Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney, who ignored a subpoena today, was mentioned in the testimony from two witnesses released today, Fiona Hill, Former White House senior Russia director told lawmakers Mulvaney's name came up at a July meeting. She says ambassador to the EU Sondland was talking about how he had an agreement with the chief of staff Mulvaney for a presidential meeting with the Ukrainians if they were going to go forward with the investigations. White House Ukraine director Alex Vindman was at the meeting and heard the same thing, that the Ukrainians would have to deliver an investigation into the Bidens. It was explicit. There was no ambiguity and that this had to be coordinated with Chief of Staff Mulvaney. Mulvaney, who ignored a subpoena today, first said there was a quid pro quo and later said the opposite. I never said there was a quid pro quo because there isn't. But Fiona Hill says former National Security Advisor John Bolton was so alarmed by the meeting that he told her to go to a top White House lawyer saying, tell Eisenberg that I am not part of whatever drug deal Sondland and Mulvaney are cooking up on this. Today, President Trump did not seem to be alarmed by the week's development. I'm not concerned about anything. The testimony has all been fine. I mean, for the most part, I never even heard of these people. I have no idea who they are. They're uh, some very fine people. You have some never Trumpers. Uh, it seems that nobody has any firsthand knowledge. There is no firsthand knowledge. So take a deep breath because next week, the impeachment inquiry will go to a whole new level public hearings begin yeah. on Wednesday. Get ready for it. Yeah.